Well, hello, ladies and gents. Jetta here with Man of East, and I am doing a deck profile on my updated duo Bermuda Triangle that I do love so much since the Academy of Divas came out. There's been an update and a couple builds, and I uh, quite particularly enjoy this build. It's very fun, very trollsy, but uh, also can, can put in the work. So let's start here with the starter, which I am running two of, which I'll talk about later in the video. Um, it's a forerunner, of course, so when you ride over it, it goes into another rear guard circle. Uh, act, put this unit into your soul. If you have a Bermuda Triangle Vanguard, choose one of your units with duo in its card name. Return all units with the same name as that rear guard to your hand. Now, uh, we'll talk a little bit about this combo piece and how it works with other cards, but for now, just know I'm running one as the starter and then one extra in my deck, and we'll, we'll talk about how that all works later. Um, let's get into the simple things here. We're first getting into triggers because, you know, simplicity is great. Uh, we are going to run four of the duo heals. We are then going to run a total of 16 crit, okay? For this one, uh, four of this one, and four of the brand new crit trigger, which I absolutely love here, which is this wonderful sexy card here. It is Duo Love Joker, Chu, 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 Chulium, Chu, Chulium, Chu, yeah, her, yeah, that thing. <laughs> um, she is a crit, but she, like a lot of the new triggers, has a dual effect. Um, Counterblast one, put this unit on top of your deck. When uh, one of your other units is returned to your hand from rear guard, if you have a Vanguard with Duo on its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as the unit returned to your hand, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So um, this allows you to get this back into your deck and then also fish out valuable cards that you bounce back that you need more copies of because, you know, we're doing the whole duo thing. So super valuable crit in this deck. Uh, moving on to grade ones, we are going to run three of the 10k attackers. I still believe the flexibility of this card is absolutely amazing. Uh, of course it is when this unit attacks. If you have a Vanguard with Duo in its card name, this unit gets plus 3k until the end of that battle. So this combos well with a lot of the other pieces in the deck, and I'll talk about those too. But again, flexibility of being able to put it behind a 9k for 16k rows, and then the flexibility of putting it alongside with other cards in this deck to be able to do some great combos and hit sexy numbers. So three of that. And then we are going to run two here of our damage on flippers. Uh, essentially hit the field, uh, you soul blast two, and then choose two cards from your damage zone, and then turn the face up. So this card uh, deck does use a lot of counter blasts, so we like to get those back as soon as possible. We are gonna run four perfect guards, uh, because uh, I don't really own quintet walls. I could in this deck. I don't find it necessarily. Uh, I find perfect guards work great for me still. Uh, the option I would, but again, because I need two copies of the card in deck for a lot of my combos, I still run four perfect guards. And then the main centerpiece of this deck is peace, which this card like wins games. It's, it's amazing. Um, counter plus one, when this unit is returned to your hand from your guard, if you have Vanguard with Duo in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card. And then you may choose up to three cards named Duo Petite uh, at Toli Peace from your hand. Reveal them. If you reveal three cards, choose a card from your damage zone and turn it face up. So if we're talking about the combos with this card, okay, if I have one of these on the field and two in hand, or in fact, what I can do is I can return all three of these. If I have three on the field, I can return them all to my hand and essentially draw a card by counterblasting, then show three, unflip, and then do that for each instance. That's why this is so broken. And then that's why with the new crit trigger, I'm able to counterblast and get another copy of this card out from my deck that I can then show and unflip a damage. So the combos of this card, like it's one of those things that when you bounce all four of these and you get four cards, it's, it's just amazingly stupid good. And you get hand advantage, and then with the other mechanics in the deck, you can help replenish your deck. And this card, you know, this, this is the main card in the deck that helps you just win games. Um, other cards we are running, uh, which uh, I am running the Legion here, so we're gonna run three of the mate. 
Uh, the main itself is not amazing. Uh, it's Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. With Xenoders returned to your hand from rear guard, you may pay the cost if you do draw a card. It's kind of hefty to cost, but hey, if you need some card draw, it's there, and it's a 9k. Other than that, not all that great, other than for the Legioning ability. Um, we are running four of the special grade 2 here. Um, this is Lamry. Um, when the shooter attacks, if you have a Vanguard with Riot in his card, it gets plus 2k, so 11k attacker off the bat. And then when this unit is returned to your hand from Rigor, if you have a Vanguard with Riot in his card name, you may search your deck for up to one card name, Lamry, reveal it to your opponent, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. This turns a one of card into a two of card for the ditch ability of Riot, which is stupid amazing. So all those times where you'd have one card or, or you know, you'd hope to drive check into it, once she's returned to your hand, you get another copy. You're able to then easily do Riet's ability without having a problem having to Dutch 10k shields or, or important cards you want to keep. So super vital. Um, and then another card, which is my favorite, absolutely favorite card to run uh, when I'm going into my grade two ride um, with this behind her. This kind of goes along. So I'm running my girl here. Essentially the effect says um, when this unit... Uh, when this unit attacks, hits a Vanguard. If you have a Bermuda Triangle Vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your other Bermuda Triangle Rear Guards, return it to your hand, and then search your deck for up to one card with the same name and put it in real your opponent and put it into your hand. So she combos well with this. So on a, a, a grade two turn, even if I have nothing else on the field, I don't have to. I have this card out. I can search for another copy of it. And then this card gives me so much value with my pieces later on. Because if you do this twice, you are, you are throwing away two cards into your soul, which again can be used to draw eight cards maximum. Eight cards. It's just stupid good, stupid good. And then of course she comes with peace too as well. So that's a nice combo piece. If you have uh, two copies of peace, you just get another one and free cards, woo! It's so amazing balls. All right, let's go on to grade threes. Um, on the grade threes, I am still running two mirror. I, I may take this out, but I still like it. I still feel it's a valuable card. Uh, the break right turn is amazing. Uh, she is what made this deck top meta all these months ago. Uh, it's a break ride. Uh, let it break four, you get plus 10k. Uh, and then essentially when your Vanguard attacks, um, you bounce everything back from the field and then call two new units. So it essentially gives you a fourth attack after drive checks and then with Riot, Things happen and uh, people cry. And then we're running three of the promo Legion from a while back. Uh, duo Falling Heart Victoria. Uh, her Legion skill, of course, is putting cards back into the deck. And her Legion skill is choose one of your rear guards with duo in the card name. Return it to your hand and search your deck for a card with the same name. And reveal it to your opponent and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. And then when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have another unit in the middle... The, this unit gets plus 3k until the end of battle. So by itself, it's a 23k when it's, bo when it's boosted. So you're boosting it with a 5k, it's in 28k numbers. Uh, you know, if you boost it even higher, uh, you can get up to uh, 30k, which is, you know, nice. Not 31, but it, it's still a pretty good number there. And again, this comes with peace. So I'm able to get my pieces back out, throw those away, and, and just get cards for days. It's, it's simply amazing. And in the main grade three, we have three Riot. And uh, as anybody who's played Vanguard and anybody who played against duos, uh, her ability is Limit Rake 4, Counter Blast 2. You ditch two cards with the same name uh, that are duos, and then uh, you were able to restand her. So Counter Blast 2, ditch two of the same exact duo cards, and she restands herself and is able to just, you know, smack her down. And then uh, her other ability is when she attacks, she can Soul Blast one and bounce a unit from the field into her hand. So on those restand turns, you're able to Soul Blast twice and get more cards back into your hand so you can then do just more stupid combos. Um, and then essentially when she stands back up and she attacks again, she gets plus 2k. So instead of hitting for 11, she hits for 13 on her second time attacking. Let's go here into the stride units. Uh, I'm running uh, two of uh, Nectaria, yeah, 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 Nectaria. Uh, her stride ability is, uh, if I have a Vanguard with Duo in its card name, uh, 
I can uh, search my, essentially, uh, if you have a heart with Duo in its current name, search your deck um, for a card with the same name uh, as the returned card and reveal it to your opponent, put your hand and shuffle your deck. So again, this helps with the whole piece thing, helps with getting key cards you know, back in there. Uh, then I'm running two of Somni. Uh, her ability is when she hits, uh, you can take a card, bounce it back, and then call another unit, and it gets plus 3k until the end of turn. So again, nice on hit effect, puts pressure on them. Then you bounce a card back, you get another attack in a column, and then you're able to do more silly goodness. Um, this is a little more fun deck, so I am, um, I am running uh, Morris. Uh, she doesn't have a great effect as far as on hit, but when you stride, you two, choose two units and you return them to your hand. Again, I'm going to do this with peace all day long. I will return two pieces back to my hand to then draw two cards to then call them back. So the whole idea is to get that peace engine going and drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing and then putting cards back with each and then drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing. And uh, like the hand advantage I get in this deck is, is stupid. Like I will literally get... Uh, a hand that makes OTTs jealous. I mean, I just get stupid hand advantage. Uh, and then this also like helps counter Link Jokers a lot. Uh, it helps me to keep my field as clean as possible if I need to. You know, I can have a very uh, limited field if need be. So anyway, that's the deck profile. Uh, of course, as always, comment, rate, subscribe, tell us what you thought of it, and uh, we'll see you again for some more goodness of card gaming. See y'all later.